Are you garbage at Fortnite? Do you have that one friend who's super good and always carries you, but it's too nice to tell you that? Well, I'm your friend now, and I'm here to tell you, you are garbage. But there's a way to fix this. Follow all of my tips in this video that I use to go from barely a gold player to a diamond player in the matter of one season. Here's a video from six months ago. And here I am now. So, as you can see, I was pretty bad. Most of the time, I just didn't build. But now, I'm in Diamond 3, extremely close to Elite. I also don't play that much. At the most, I play for 8 hours a week. I'm consistent though, so let's get right into how I improved that much. Part 1. Ranked System I've already talked about the rank system in one of my other videos, so I'll keep it short and sweet in this one. Basically, you're put in the same game as people above your rank and as people below. If you die to someone below, then you will go down more than if you die to someone above. Same for kills. You'll also get points for claiming loot caches, claiming the island, and getting the forecast towers. Part 2. Warm-up. A warm-up routine is an extremely important part to your improvement. This will be not only to warm up, but to train and improve your mechanics. When I first started trying to improve, I started in Raiders Mechanics Training Map V4. This is very good to improve your building, editing, and aim. If you don't have a whole lot of time for a warm-up routine, then hop into the tunnel with the targets option and practice those for a little bit. You'll warm up your building, editing, and even aiming all in one. You'll want to practice things you haven't done before, like double editing, triple editing, and even quad editing. You will also want to get good at simple things, like your peanut butter edits. My warm-up routine now, though, is a little bit different. I do a more in-depth routine to get better at specific things to my needs. This routine is based off of Ken Bean's video, which I'll put a link to in the description. This routine consists of doing aim training, peace control, and a 1v1. I start in clicks aim trainer. I usually do sentry tracking and also practice my flick shots. Just mess around in this and try to practice things that you're not good at. After my aim is warmed up, I hop into realistic peace control. It's really good to warm up my building, editing, and practice peace control in real scenarios. Again, in this, try new things. If you're not good at double editing, then try double editing. If you're not good at setting up right hand peaks, practice it. The key is to practice things you aren't good at. Also, use the free build option in realistic peace control to practice your retakes and, once again, things you're not good at. For example, I'm not good at right hand peanut butter edits, so I practice in the free build option to try to get better at it. After that, I go and practice my fighting in speed realistics 1v1. I really like this map because it helps me when I'm playing defensive and when I'm W key. That is the end of my warm up routine now. Remember, if you don't warm up well, then it will make you rank down a lot, and you will not improve at all. Sure, you can come off of this routine a little bit, but try to stay on point to do what you need to do the most to improve. Part 3. Practice. No warming up is a very important thing, getting consistent practices too. If you practice consistently, then you will improve much faster than just practicing a lot on one day, but then not playing for the rest of the week. Lots of the time, I'll find myself looking at my phone instead of hopping on and practicing. You'll always want to practice specific things. You don't want to practice different things on different days. You want to try to stay on the same type of thing every day. You want to practice the same things consistently so that you will actually improve at them. Sure, you can change slightly, but you want to try to master one skill before moving on. Practice also doesn't have to be in creative. Practice can be ranked, where you try to improve your skills in-game. Playing in-game can be very different than playing in creative. In-game is more pressure, and it makes you nervous. You will also probably get lower FPS than you do in creative. All of these factors will change your performance in actual matches. Now, most of the time, you will want to play ranked matches, not just pubs. Pubs are filled with bots, and most of the time, you're not fighting real players. You need to practice in ranked. That might make you die more, but it will also make you improve more. You will improve if you are playing with people at your skill level and above. Part four, game sense. Game sense is arguably the most important skill to have in Fortnite and in all video games in general. Game sense is knowing what to do in certain situations throughout the game. One example is knowing where and when to rotate. There are also certain edits to use in certain situations, but we don't have time to go through all of them in this video. Here's a video from Billy Bicep that I think explains this very well. I'll put the link in the description for you to go watch it after this video. Game sense is also knowing when to run and when to stay and fight. This skill spreads all throughout the game, but the way to get better at this is more simple than you might think. You just need to play more matches. 
The more matches you play, the better your game sense gets. Getting good at this is key to your improvement. Part five, consistency. Playing consistently is extremely important and you need to do this to improve. If you play Fortnite consistently, you will gain muscle memory and you will make discoveries on a day-to-day -day basis. You will not remember something small in a week, but you will the next day and you could learn something from it. Remember, you can get good at Fortnite if you truly want to and if you put in the work. Using these five techniques, you can improve very quickly, but don't expect success to come instantly. You should start seeing some improvements after about a week and then major improvements in the first few months. Stay consistent and remember, take it one step at a time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great rest of your day.